your involvement early in life and the civil rights movement affect your evolution now to be a HBCU president? It wasn't so much my involvement because I sort of missed it. I came afterwards more so, but it was my father's involvement that got me, I was so intrigued by the things he was doing. And he would leave home. We didn't know if he was come back or not. You know, it was, it was, it was just that tense in, the, in Memphis because he was with the sanitation department and the sanitation strikers. And so it was, it was very, it was one of those moments that you don't want to relive. But in watching him and people coming to our house to talk about the movement and sitting at our table and, and strategizing, and I'd always listen, and I enjoyed it so much, and I just said, I want to be a civil rights lawyer. <laughs> so I started then, wanted to be a lawyer, because I wanted to help and solve this, these problems and, and, and make a contribution to, to the human rights of everybody. I, mean, I understand there's a street named after your father today in Memphis, Tennessee. It is Henry Baskin, Sr. He All was, right. um, he led marches, and uh, I remember one day there was, I, ha I watched, we watched the house burn down because there was no, no fire protection, and then there were no sewers in our area of Memphis. We were up in South Memphis, rural Memphis. And so my father led this march to get the fire protection. So he, he said, no other house gonna burn down under my watch. So we did, it was successful. And I, I, I just became so excited about watching him do things and watching him organize marches. So I, I could barely wait, you know. <laughs> I said, I want to be in court. Because I know you have the, like Martin Luther King and Thurgood Marshall. It wasn't until I became a lawyer that I fully understood the relationship between Dr. King and Thurgood Marshall. Somebody has to lead the marches in the streets and get, the, get organized and get uh, African Americans together. But somebody else has to be inside uh, to make a change. And I love that combination. I love the fact my father could go out and, and organize and have marches, but then to get the laws changed, somebody inside had to do that. And I wanted to be one of those people they could depend on to fight for change and to fight where it counted inside, uh, to get up and make a motion to make things work. 